welcome to this installment of the Excite Pro tutorial series. If RSS feeds are a great way of bringing other people's content into your own sites, then XML syndication, practically speaking the opposite of RSS, is a great way to get your own content onto other people's sites, increasing your content reach and potentially increasing traffic to your site. Excite Pro's XML syndication tool works by building outward-facing RSS feeds from your subpage content, so it's great for pages like articles, news releases, and features. And for many people, RSS is a great way to access your content, either through a dedicated RSS feed reader, like Atom or Google Reader, or via embedded RSS feeds on other people's sites. In short, you write a new article or feature, the RSS feed gets updated, and your new content is syndicated out to other people's feed reader applications and onto other people's websites, increasing exposure for your own site and for you as a thought leader in your niche. XML syndication in Excite Pro has two parts. First, we must create a feed and specify what content we want to be a part of it. And second, we have to supply a link so that our users can subscribe to our feed if desired. Excite Pro makes both of these steps a piece of cake. But before we get to that, let's first take a look at my site here. As you can see, I've got an articles page here, and every individual article is a subpage of that top level articles page. This is perfect for syndication. To set up a feed, first click on the other tab and then go down here to XML syndication. You can also choose XML syndication from the tools menu. As of right now, we have no feeds set up yet. Let's change that by clicking on Add New Feed. Step 1. Give your feed a common sense name. I'll call mine Infotech Articles. Click Next, and we now have to specify what pages are included in this feed. I'll click the Articles page, and all those article subpages are included automatically. Crucially importantly, this also means that any future articles I post as a subpage of my articles page automatically get added to my feed, so I can forget all about the process after I've set it up, safe in the knowledge that my new content will be pumped out to my feed subscribers for me. The third step is to pick any exclusions, that is, any articles here in this folder you don't want included. If there are certain articles that are outdated, or ones that you want exclusively on your site and nowhere else, deselect them here. Finally, you have your settings. Choose the number of pages you want to include in your feed. If you choose five, for example, it will always present the user with the five most recent articles. Next, you have the option to automatically add new pages to the syndicated list, and unless you're trying to carefully control distribution of much of your content, I'd strongly recommend leaving it checked, or else you'll have to come back to this wizard every single time you want to update the feed. Okay, now that we have our feed, we need to let users know that they can subscribe to it via RSS, and what better place for that than the articles page itself. So, let's open that up. and I'll place the link here under my subpage links. So let's right click and choose insert XML syndication link or click its icon on the toolbar. And now we just select our feed, we only have one, add one of the icons provided, it really doesn't matter which, just pick the one you like, and a text link. Subscribe to our articles. Click Insert, and that's that. When I preview, the link appears. The user simply copies the URL to their newsreader, and the subscription is complete. Using XML to syndicate your articles lets users effectively subscribe to your content, as well as broadening the content's reach via other websites.